Hello everyone from USA together and I think we're ready with the Shovel Knight. Are we? I see that you're visible, so you can start. Okay, nice. Well, I guess I'll give a countdown and we'll, we'll start running and I'm explode your ear, so hopefully your ears are gonna be fine at the end of this. Maybe not, we don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so I will be doing Plague of Shadows 80% which used to be named uh, Plague 9 80%. And uh, I'm gonna be using a specific route called Big Boom. So you'll see. Anyway, are you ready link boss for a countdown? I get, uh, yeah, there you go. Just give me a nod in chat or Discord or stuff. Or a wisp. Okay. So on go. No, not that one. That one. There you go. So on go. Three, two, one, go. So plague of shadows. Any percent. So here I'm mashing because we have two those two guys telling you how to actually play, throwing bombs and busting, double jumping, and then. Double jumping again, which we're gonna do a lot. And basically, the burst you're doing, you do it by pre keeping the bomb button pressed. And usually, you would have to throw a bomb to do that, but if you do it fast enough, you can charge a burst without throwing a bomb, so that's a good thing. So, Shovenai was released in 2014 already, oh my god. So, here we are using. The damage boost invincibility to get through that small skeleton guy. So Blink Knight can only free free throw three bombs at a time. And then he has a small ow. Cooldown before you can throw another one. You also have the usual checkpoints, and the design of the levels are exactly the same as in for Shovel Knight, but there are some tweaks in some rooms to make it more Plague Knight-like, I guess. But other than that, it's pretty much uh, the same as Shovel Knight, and here we're gonna zip. And I missed it, so we're gonna do it again, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. So now you may have so heard uh, a sound cue, which used to not be there because before it was a glitch, technically a glitch, and now it's more of a feature. They corrected the glitch, but they keep they kept um, the glitch as an intended feature. And there you go. That's a quick little black knight. Actually, it's a bit easier to do that quick kill than it is for Jovenite to do it. But the problem of Black Knight is that it's it can randomly get out of it, unfortunately. In the first fight, usually it doesn't, but in the second fight, it might happen later on, but that's fine. So yeah, for donation reading, uh, pretty much any time when I'm in the overworld map and when I'm in the hub with Mona, which I will present to you very shortly. So here we are in the village, but we need to get to our... Um, Hide out, so we're gonna explode that guy house and get to it through the sewers of the town. You may have seen Shovel Knight walking there, and here's Mona. Mona is um, actually, well, to make long story short, is pretty much the love interest of Plague Knight, and the opposite is true as well. So they're both interested in each other, but the problem is that they don't know it. And yeah, they try different things to to explain to the other how, why, well, at least that they're actually in love, which is gonna make it really interesting in the story, but yeah, we're not here for the story, right? So, you may have been surprised that I went to Lich Yard instead of Primal Kingdom. Ah. Instead of Primal Keep, the reason being that I actually need some money to get the specific item I want to get, which is the item of my specific crowd, which is Big Boom. 
But for that item, I need like, uh, I don't remember if it's 1500 or 2000. But yeah, I need extra money anyway. And that's why I'm going to leech charge first. Which doesn't cost much time. What well, costs the most time uh, for that route is to actually get the, the other item, but I find that route a bit more funny and it's actually the route of the tasks. So yeah, a couple of tasks for Shovel Knight have been made by Mr. Kalai, and he's actually working on a King Knight uh, task right now, so that might be interesting. And now we're gonna go through a dark room unless I miss my setup to enter it. There you go. Because if I don't burst in, I can't get to that platform. I can't make that cycle properly. So that would be unfortunate. Because I would die otherwise. But we don't want that. And now we're gonna burst up to that platform, which Shonai can actually do with a, a small glitch called Gentle Hop, but that's not that much important. So here we burst twice and then threw three bombs and threw three bombs. And then hopefully, yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna show up. There you go. I was I was gonna say that hopefully he's gonna show up on the left side, but unfortunately he didn't. He went to the right side, which cost me a bit of time, but that's fine. That's actually the only bit of RNG that Spectre Knight can give you. But for a matter of a fact, I'm not, I'm not actually doing the fastest fight the fastest fight because well I just can't execute the really fast one. And uh, speaking of really fast, uh, War Record is actually 3804, if I remember correctly. And uh, the War Record Holder is Bread Pan, which you may see in the credits later on. I will show it. Because uh, Yakko Games is kind enough to every update put the War Record the current War, War, War Record Holder at that time in the credits. And what was funny is that the last time they actually announced it, so it gave an extra boost to people from different games, from different DLC to get Warwicker back. And that's how Pink Knight Warwicker got beaten, even though Bretman was already working on it to get it. But I guess it gave, it gave, it gave him an extra boost to, to do that, which is always nice to get. So in Primal Keep, I will... Uh, go to another direction because usually we go straight up the ladder on the right, but here I'm gonna go to the left side and Try to go through that wall and it's really painful to for playing knight hey, Ouch, there you go And from Chester here we're gonna get big boom which costs 2500 actually so yeah, I'm barely able to buy it <clears throat> So what Big Boom allows me to do is that it gives me an ex a huge explosion, as you may have seen, but it also gives me an, uh, a different movement pattern, which uh, basically is... Uh, anytime I throw a bomb, I get my down top speed, so my top speed, so my top speed when I go down, faster, for some reasons. But it helps us get some weird trajectory for some stuff, and it's actually pretty cool. And yeah, it might be surprising, even though it's a weapon, it's actually more of a movement tool for Plague Knight. At least for this round. It, it is also a weapon, but we actually use it more for movement than actually killing stuff. But I'm saying that, but right now we're gonna do something we call Lazy Strat, and you'll understand why if I do it properly. Or not, if I don't do it properly. So if I miss the timing of the first big boom, it's actually a bit tricky to get the fight back. So it was less lazy than it was supposed to be, but... Basically, if you get the fight properly, you're supposed to stay on the ground for, like, pretty much the whole duration of the fight and just throw bombs left and right to kill King Knight, which is pretty funny. Uh, in the task they do something else which is way harder to execute and if you basically just misinput something kind of hard to get it back so if you have any donations I do actually we have five dollars from Mr. Shasta who just ran Kirby good luck on the run explode 
Can I get an explode from you real quick? Explode! There you go. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder, guys, that uh, we have some bid wars incoming for the next run. Uh, that is Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. We can choose a Chocobo name, we can choose a Garb, and we can choose a Mask that the runner is gonna use. So make sure to donate for those. Oh yeah, and I don't know if it's gonna help, but Plague Knight being a Plague Dodger, I guess he could find something for COVID, but he decided to stay true to himself and just continue building bombs for some reasons. So yeah, he's not gonna be of, of a huge help for us, but if you donate, you're gonna be a huge help for the cause, so that's for sure. So welcome to the Explodatorium, which is Plague Knight stage? So who are, who are we gonna facing at the end of the stage? Well, I mean, you don't really have the choice, obviously, but, well, I mean, let me try, right? That was a pretty good fight. So normally, actually, the best fight would be to not have that transformation happening, but unfortunately, that was not the case. And you will see me take a lot of damage boost throughout that part of the stage because I actually need to be at 2 health before the end of it. And I explain why. Because the Shovel Knight fight is kind of weird because he actually has the Phase Locket as one of his items. Oh, sorry, I spoiled the fight actually. My bad. And the only reason why we want to be at 2 health is because if you are at 2 health, he's not going to use Phase Locket for some reason. So now hopefully he's gonna stick in place and not being an annoyance like oh well I said I was supposed to be at 2 health I didn't realize I didn't take any enough any damage so yeah that's gonna be a long fight but that's fine we'll manage yeah there you go now he's not gonna oh he might use it we'll see yeah he's still gonna use it Okay, so that was a weird fight. It's not supposed to go that long. He's not supposed to do anything actually, but well, that's when you realize he. No, I'm not gonna say the rest. And you get betrayed by each other night. But actually, uh, fun fact: the developer said that when you play a DLC, you are playing it from the point of view of uh, the character. And for the case of Black Knight, he might be telling you the story a bit differently than he should. And he should. So yeah. Anyway, back to into the hub. So time for a donation, if you have one. Uh, I've mentioned the uh, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy bid wars. Yes. But you, you know what's funny? No. If you donate, you not only support ESA. You not only can do this for bid wars. You can also do this for prizes. Because Ooh. if you donate. 15, 20, or 25 dollars throughout the entire marathon. Uh, so you can throw five here, five there. You are eligible to earn some nice prizes. You can check them out on prizes.esamarathon.com. But I'm just gonna spoil you. There are some nice headphones, some nice mouses, games, uh, mouse pads. I'm, I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's, it's really cool. You should check it out. Prizes.esamarathon.com. So now we are in a water stage, which usually would be a big deal, even for Shovel Knight, but for Blade Knight it's actually not that bad. Yeah, that was a bit scary, but that's fine. Ow. It's weird, because I always do the same setup, but I end up having different results, so I don't know, that's kind of weird. Maybe I moved too, too early, who knows. And here is Tiflon. Which we always call 420 fish because he tends to go too high, but in the case of Lane Knight, he tends to go too far to the right than we would like it to. So, yeah, that's unfortunate.
And I'm gonna stay at the top of him. Yeah, as I said, he likes to go to the right. Still fine though. And yeah, we're gonna show off some movement for Big Boom actually, because we didn't use Big Boom much for movement late as so far, but yeah, here we're gonna use it a bit. So here, for example, we're gonna big boom that guy, and that way we get through the wall faster as well. Eh. And if we activate that lever a bit faster, that way we don't have to actually throw a bomb at, a bomb at it. Stuff like that, for example. And then we're gonna fight Treasure Knight, which we're gonna start with a boom, <laughs> literally. Yeah, that wasn't a great start, but that'll do. Nice, still a good fight though. <clears throat> so far, so good. So yeah, basically what we're getting from the boss is actually those small spheres we are seeing is uh, basically their power to an extent. And Plague Knight wants to make a potion to impress Mona, and he's trying to make the most powerful potion there is, so yeah, he's taking the power of everyone. And to his surprise, Shovel Knight had that, po had that power for some reason? And in this stage, you're gonna see Big Boom a lot, because we actually need to destroy a lot of blocks and stuff like that, and that was... Interesting, but that's fine. So yeah, Big Boom is going to be insanely useful in this stage. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's a bad death. I actually lost a lot of money. Thankfully, since I can't get it back, well, unfortunately, since I can't get it back, I need to return to the map and reset the stage because I actually need that money for later on. Because it's not really the end of getting stuff yet we still have one weapon and some Im upgrades to get so yeah that was really unfortunate yeah i have to wait here there you go that's how you're supposed to get to go through that but i messed up ow Here's more damage boost, so we can go through that guy. Here another place where Big Boom is really useful, because we kill that guy and go through the blocks at the same time. And here's the same thing. Big Ah, yeah, I was gonna say Big Boom through that platform and destroyed both blocks, but unfortunately I messed up through the slime to go through the slime, so... You didn't get to see how it's supposed to be done, but that's fine. And you may have seen those uh, green coins, which are called alchemy coins, but we don't use them in the run. Because the upgrades we get from it uh, is not that interesting, unfortunately, so... Why not? Ooh, that's actually really bad, and I don't want to reset that, that room, so... Yeah, that's a problem. So... Oh, I may, I may have to reset the stage. Mm, that's really bad. Yeah, I need to reset the stage. That's too much money lost. Uh, that's really unfortunate. That's, cost, that's gonna cost me a lot of time. The problem of Plague Knight is that, and that's why my estimate is still big compared to my PB, is because the run is not insanely safe. It's not that bad, but. Yeah, you have deaths like that, like that one. Oh, well. Which costs you a lot of time, unfortunately, and... Here you have to be prepared for those. That's why the SMA is so big.
That's fine. We just have to go from the beginning of the uh, to the end of the stage again, right? And for some reasons, I'm having a hard time with that room, which is not to be supposed to be hard, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, stuff happens sometimes, right? Oh well. Hopefully, we will be back on track and we shouldn't be overestimate. Well, at least not yet. So I'm not gonna do that big boom shred again because for some reason I messed it up earlier. Mm, okay. That one I survived. I shouldn't have survived it, but I survived it. So that's fine. And I'm gonna take the health because yeah, why not? <laughs> because I mean, I lost a lot of time, so uh, I better just not die to the boss as well, right? That was a good fight, there you go. So yeah, basically I'm trying to intercept the dives of a Moon Knight with two bombs and one big boom. The problem is that big boom costs a lot of, uh, of power. So we don't want to throw two big booms uh, right out of the gate. We want to like do two bombs, one big boom, then only two bombs, and then two bombs, one big boom. So now that we actually have enough money to buy the thing we need to buy, we'll be able to buy it. But now it's donation time with Mona. Wait, no, with uh, Kelsey, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. I just want to point out that people are waking up in Europe, it's quite early, so you might have just come to the stream and you have no idea what's going on. So, we are ESA Together. ESA Together is a week-long online marathon that will feature speedrunners and score attackers from all around the world. Uh, we will be run to support ESA and other affiliated events, it increased costs this year connected to coronavirus outbreak. It's really bad, but uh, we are also promoting staying at home because we're presenting you plenty of very fun speedruns and entertaining ones, uh, like this one, like the previous one or the next one. You can just find all of them on our schedule, quara.org slash ESA slash together for the fun. Ow. Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna reset that room because it's not going great. Okay, that's really... Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's bad. I mean, I can always... Oh, ooh, well, I went, um, how, did, how did I went through that? Okay, I'll take it. What? I can go through that, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm not super healthy, so that might be bad. Yeah, that... Ooh. Uh, how am I supposed to go through that? I'm gonna have to kill rats. Uh, that's not good. Ow! That's really not good. I'm not supposed to take damage damage actually, but and I'm supposed to damage boost through those rats. I should have used big boom. That's fine though. And I need to get that money, so I need to kill those guys anyway. Uh, okay, there you go. We got the money. Okay, at least I did the quick kill properly. Whoa. Uh, and I'm gonna die in a really dumb way again. That's fine. I can get that money back, hopefully. I just have to kill the mini boss again. Well, I'm not really on point today. That's insane. Yeah, because I was supposed to do that, but now that I need my money... We're gonna take the checkpoint anyway. Ah, there you go. That's better. So here we are. That jump I did is actually important because otherwise you can't get through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it because I'm running in the morning or something? I don't know, but I'm, I'm terrible today. Wow. There we go. We'll get through that. Hopefully. Yeah, it's not going great, but I'll do my best. There you go. So this room is actually really hard, usually, for other characters. 
And this game doesn't like me today. Mm. So yeah, I was gonna see half of other characters, but sometimes it can be hard for playing Knight too because mm, there you go. Yeah. So that money might be a problem, but I'll just have to grab some extra money. Not Matt Vell, so that's fine. He's not as bad of a death as the first one. The first ones were. Then we're gonna blow those blocks so we can get an extra 50. It's gonna be useful. The main way to get money is through through chest or through um, checkpoints by destroying them. But yeah, we don't want to destroy them. So yeah, I'd rather try to find extra money on the way. And we're gonna go for a trick that is pretty dangerous. Not seriously dangerous, but we'll see if I get it or not. Oh, that one. That was really late. Oh, no, actually, that's fine. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. I was pretty sure it was late, but actually I was not. I wasn't sure I had my double jump there. But, oh, yeah, but I had it. But that's fine. So he's going to be in the lazy strand number two, which is not as easy as the first one should have been, but... There you go. So that's a lot of a lazy strat that than King Knight, but you still do pretty much the same thing, which is basically throwing bombs left and right while sitting on the ground. But that's fine. That is fine. We should still be ahead of estimate somehow. Hopefully we are, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, unfortunately we are not, but that means we are back on schedule for the marathon, and that's not a bad thing, I guess? I don't know. So here's the second fight against Black Knight that you don't see in Shovel Knight, but you actually see in the play. You see it's actually a mandatory fight here. This boss can be tricky because sometimes he jumps out of the fight. Yeah, like that. I might get it back though. There you go. And he's had to jump again, which is not cool. But I'm, he's gonna stay in the corner. Damn it. There you go. Yeah, he, sometimes he doesn't play nice like that. He just wants to jump out of it. And I was a bit too close for comfort, so he actually jumped on me instead of next to me. I should be a bit far away to the, a bit further away to the left to be able to deal with his, with his jump, but I was a bit too close. That's fine. We still got a fairly good fight actually. And now we're gonna go to Stranded Ship. So yeah, actually, ow. Depending on how you feel, you might want to have the extra power for. Tinker Knight or for Polar, I prefer to have it for for Polar, uh, for Polar, for Tinker. So I feel like the Polar Knight fight doesn't need as much as much power. And it's also one of the stage where you actually need to use Big Boom a lot, for like so, for example. Well, I was supposed to go through that wall, through that hole right away, but fine, I guess. Ow. I'm taking a lot of damage lately, today, rather, which is not great. Probably should have taken the checkpoint, but we'll see. That's fine. There you go. Those platforms were put there exactly for that, because, yeah. It's very easy to die to those guys, because you want to go fast. 
But that's all reasons they put those right from there. Because uh, Plague Knight can't actually push them, so yeah, they're just there to help him to an extent. Yeah, there you go. So the last damage was here, so we can get through that without actually having to wait. We're gonna take the health here. Oh, the potions I've been gathering gives you an extra health and an extra HP. An extra health is temporary, but it's a hit nice. That was nice. Oh, my bad. Sorry for that. It's not in my layout anymore, so we shouldn't hear the sound of it, but that's fine. For some reason, it's still there. Anyway. That was a really good fight, by the way. Pretty much perfect. I think there's a slight... A slight faster fight. A slightly faster fight, but not by much. So now that we have a lot of money, we can actually get our power upgrades, which is sold by Dead Magicist. And I was gonna say for marathon purpose, I will buy the extra potions, but since I'm already at four, I don't really have to, because I'm gonna get an extra one in Clockwork Tower anyway, so I don't really need to buy them. So we are fine. So now we have four bars of power, and it's gonna be insanely useful, especially for that boss coming up. Which is Thinker Knight. Ow. Because the problem with Thinker Knight is that he's actually weak to bombs, so he takes double damage in the first phase, but in the second phase, phase he doesn't. And worse than that, he's actually really hard to hit with bombs, so it's easier to fight him with uh, the Staff of Striking, which we got earlier in the Propeller Knight stage. That you may have seen me use, but not by mu not much. Here you're gonna see why. It is so useful. And here, we're supposed to uh, stand on that small platform there, but we're not gonna do that because it's boring and slow. And instead, we're gonna take an insanely risky way of doing it, which is going through the spikes, flying over them, and walking a bit on, the, on them, but... Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, so there's something really weird with uh, Ping Knight damage boosting, is that if you are facing the right way, but barely land and and barely land at the same time, you will not damage was in the right direction, which what is what happened there, but yeah, kind of weird. So we gotta grab that other Kimmy coin, because why not? And yeah, so this, this also score is a bit unfortunate, because playing that could very easily beat it, but... You can't uh, go through transitions until the, the other scroller is, uh, is over. But, with that said, if it wasn't a vertical, a vertical transition, you would be able to do it. Like we did in the, the other scroller of Proper Night, we actually went through it a bit earlier than we were supposed to do. And here's Ticket Knight. You'll see he's taking double damage. There you go. But only for that phase. So... Also, I didn't explain how power works, actually, but basically you use power and you replenish itself. Unless you go at the end, you use it fully. Ah, well, that's a bit unfortunate. There you go. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to work. Oh, well, that's fine. We're just gonna do that. And I was not supposed to use that much power, but that's fine. Yeah, that was not how it's supposed to work, but that's fine. We're gonna lose a bit of time. I just kill him like that. So yeah, when you get um, you 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 use up your power bar, you end up having to wait for it to refill completely, and it's locked for the duration of that refill, which is a bit unfortunate. But I mean, I had to show it off, right? I had to. Maybe not. I mean, because I lose time again. But that's fine. Probably. I don't know. I've not view. Yeah, damn it! And now we have a lot of time for donations because long cuts of in. Of course. 
course, and we have a donation. $25 from Daniel Temple UK. And Daniel puts it towards Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. That's gonna be tomorrow, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, that's a game from tomorrow. And it's put towards choosing a character, Spyro. So Spyro is now the lead. If anyone wants to change the character in Crash Team Racing tomorrow, you can do this as well with your donation. Or you can donate for the next game that has three bid wars you can choose from. You can choose a mask, you can choose a garb, and you can choose a Chocobo name. For Chocobo name is particularly interesting because the first right now is Batmobile. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? So now we are in the stage, uh, of, in the first Tower of Fate stage, and it's basically a gauntlet of everything you've seen earlier in the run. And I think it's the only stage where you don't actually have anything that was changed compared to Shovel Knight campaign. Oh, well, that's bad. Well. I'll do it again, because if I went through that uh, wall without actually doing the setup properly, I would have died, so yeah, I don't want that. There you go. And here's another stage where we're gonna use Big Boom quite a lot. Oops, well, that's fine. I was not supposed to break the wall, uh, the block at the bottom, but that's fine. And here, rips stream quality, maybe, I don't know. Might, might not. That used to wreck people's streams. To no end was kind of insane. And now we have the Black Knight fight, which is actually a bit better than the first one if I do it properly. On the second one, rather. Yeah. I broke something that we, I like to call the Shuzema face. Uh, which basically um, start with him. Uh, that's unfortunate. There you go. Start with him uh, becoming invincible and throwing uh, projectiles all over the place and you can't hit him for like 10 seconds, so we don't want that to happen. So the setup I, was, I used helped me not getting that. We actually saw him start it up, so I was kind of afraid that he would get it through, but uh, he didn't, so we didn't lose time this time. And now we're entering the second stage of Tower Fade, which is gonna end up with a boss rush. And... The boss rush has a huge problem for Plague Knight. Is that... He actually has Shovel Knight at the end of it. And as you know, we are supposed to be at 2 health. Before, uh... Whoa, okay. That rat... Wants me dead. Well, I reacted correctly, so I'm not dead. There you go. And yeah, that means we have to be at two health at the end of a boss rush. And the problem is not getting at two health. That's fine, actually. Or staying at two health, rather. The problem is not going back up all the way. Because Shovel Knight is nearly too nice health wise when it comes to the boss rush uh, I kinda wanna... no actually that's fine 4.5 is fine because you get a plate uh, which heals you every boss but we don't want to, to heal most of the time at least so yeah it actually ends up being a problem for playing now rather than uh, help And I really want to show off the quick kill of it. But seeing how the run went so far, I might, I might not even be able to do it, but we'll see. 
I'm not sure. We'll see. So those rats... Uh, oh yeah, when, we bur when you burst, you're invincible for the small duration of it. Which is pretty nice, actually. So you can actually go through those blocks without destroying them. Technically, you don't go through them, it's just that it didn't spawn yet. So we just get up there before they actually spawn and... Yeah. And then we're safe. Ow. So obviously we don't want to heal with those plates. And that's boss rush time. Which is gonna be hard, painful, and long, and yeah. So we start with Paul and I. We He's always in the three first bosses, so... That was fine. Not great, but that was fine. And if he's not in the two first bosses, he's gonna be obviously the third one. So yeah, we don't want to get healed by that very nice and uh, tasty looking uh, turkey. For example, that one. Yeah, Proper Knight is the worst boss when it comes to those. Damn it. I really hate the fact that when you hide uh, notifications, not hide, but actually remove them. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, I still have a lot of bosses to go through, so unfortunately, fortunately, I can take a lot of damage. And do a really slow fight. I did take a lot of damage, didn't I? Okay, 3.5 is actually pretty cool. There you go. And I should be taking damage from... Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm really not on point on bosses today. That's fine, though. And I should be taking somewhat a lot of damage against Mole Knight, so... That was a good kill. And now we are fine on health. So that's, that's pretty good, actually. Right on health. Right where we want to be. Somehow. That was a really good kill. There you go. And now we're actually pretty much at the perfect place for the Shaw Knight fight. Which is gonna start with a boom. And he decided to jump out of it, which is really unfortunate. And I need to heal. So I actually have to do the normal strat, which I don't want to do. And now I don't have... Okay, I'm gonna just heal. And yeah, he decided... Okay, I'm just gonna heal, that's fine. So he's not supposed to jump out of that fight at all, but... That's unfortunate. I may have missed time I bounce. Which is, uh, as I said, unfortunate, but I... I don't know what is my time right now, so I don't know if I'm actually overestimated or not. I might be. Those two deaths and... Yeah, boss rush were not great, so... Three deaths, actually. Now I think of it. Oops. Yeah, I always forget that I don't want to mash start here, because you actually can pause the game here, even though it's a cutscene, but... That's one of the few cutscenes where you can actually do that, surprisingly enough. Forty-three, fifteen. Okay, we should be fine actually. It's not gonna be a great time, but we should be fine. And every time you say that, you make an Undertale reference for some reason. So 
So yeah, here you could play it like dodging everything like I do, but you can actually just take a damage boost every time and just land on the next platform. Because playing that damage boost so far that it's actually safe to do that. Why not? Ooh. Yeah. And here comes the Enchantress. Which is a really bad fight when it comes to RNG, but we'll see. Ow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually really bad. I can't even do the quick kill because of that. Well, that's gonna be a long fight. So, just make it safe. Okay. Not great, but we'll take it. So, now we get actually the last bit of power, which, uh, for some reasons, is the Enchantress that has it. So that's why we're actually fighting her. We're not fighting her because we want to save the world and stuff like that. No, 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 no. We just want the freaking power thing to make a really powerful potion and impress our Demona. But uh, the problem is, it's not gonna stuff is not gonna happen like thing that would them to happen. And yeah, and then he's gonna have to fight himself for some reasons. Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate. Am I getting with a boom? There you go. Okay, that was actually a, good, a decent fight. And now, because uh, playing Knight is not done until he kills Plague Knight, wait a minute. He's gonna transform into Ridley for some reasons. And first, we had to destroy that weird looking orb. And. Dodge broccolis because I mean they are healthy, so yeah, that's fine. And time, there you go. At least I did a good last fight. <laughs> but anyway, that was big of shadows, any percent. So yeah, I'm gonna skip through. The cutscenes real fast so we can get to the credits and i want to show off actually something that is at the end of the game because i feel it's really nice and well we need nice things lately so that's gonna be a good thing so yeah it is something really funny is that the majesty is actually in love with percy which is sh the um, the horse guy and yeah Actually, during the run, uh, Blind Knight said, Oh, he's in love with the. Playing Knight is in love with the Magicists to Mona. So Mona was like, Oh, I'm not at the end. Just run away and. Yeah. So, hey, Breadman3804. Sorry, I went a bit too fast. I want to see how many. That's a lot of deaths. Three. Oh, wait, that's actually a lot of math. Time play 2625. Uh, the in game time is actually fairly, fairly precise. Usually, six seconds off uh, the real time. And, yeah. But it's not that I want to show off. I want to show off this little piece of nice ending with the music that goes with it. Because uh, in the game, when you actually do the game properly, you learn you learn how to dance from the Trouble King, and that's why. And I really like that ending. The end. Or well, like some games I like to do, huh. because sometimes they put it in French. I don't know why, but yeah, they do. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me. So I will let good old Kadzik take over and maybe read some donations. Maybe. I just want to say that it was a good run at the end. And thank you so much for being here with us. 
And we're gonna go for a quick intermission, then we're gonna see each other on the next run. Thanks for having me.